Hi everyone, and welcome to How to Start a Board Game Company. I'm Jay Carmier from Off the Page Games. Uh, this week what I'd like to focus on is Game Trays. Now Game Trays is such a, a cool company that is offering some really awesome added value uh, to board games. Uh, you might have seen them on uh, some Kickstarter games, you might have actually had some. I'm going to show you uh, a couple examples right now. So this is the Game Trays website and you can see what they offer here. They offer um, for Terraforming Mars, they have um, Game Trays which actually makes the game more functional for not just storing the components but this is the kind of thing that they do. They offer a really cool way to store the components but not just store it but also make the game easier to play uh, so that you can actually um, bring these these uh, items out onto the table uh, into like little packages like this. It's pretty wild and distribute them around the table without having to unopen, you know, 10 different baggies or 20 different baggies full of all these different items and separate them and all this kind of stuff. So that's that's an example of it. Um, I'm going to put a link in for a Watch It Played Rodney to uh, reviews game trays for Euphoria uh, until you get to kind of see him move it around. Uh, I had a game on Kickstarter called In the Hall of Mountain King and the deluxe game came with the game trays and you can see some of the, uh, um, how it kind of fits together there's lids for everything so they you know don't get jumbled around when they're being transported and whatnot uh, but then you can just bring this entire set out uh, onto the table and everything's sorted all these different tetris pieces are sorted and in the retail version these are all going to just come in baggy so it's going to be a little bit of a more of a nuisance to uh, set it up but these game trays are available individually anybody who even bought the, re the retail version can go to game trays and get themselves this game trays so what i want to talk about now is uh, i'm going to start filling out the form from game trays and so this is the form uh, that they want you to fill out in order to uh, um, in order for them to really understand the game the components how the components are used because they're the ones that kind of brainstorm and come up with ideas on how to make the game trays such that they're going to help the game play uh, and I'm sure that's a two-way street, but this is the first step is in filling out this form and uh, Let's let's go through it So I'm gonna go through it and I'll probably cut and fast forward through various parts as I this is the first time me going through this myself So let's see what we have here. We have uh, components underlying columns are required Okay, so we have to have an item name and so this is just listing all of the components in your game. That's that's fine uh, I'm not really sure what goes under tray tray what would go under tray i'm not really sure uh hmm, i'm not sure uh and the group uh there's a little thing that probably doesn't show up but it says that you, you can use this to group components together uh for in play or tray placement like maybe here's all of player these are all player items or these are all resources so you can call them a specific thing so that's kind of cool uh, and then quantity per set and it says here if the component can be broken down into subsets note the quantity per set here we'll see if that happens to me or not and then what is it what is it the what is it, what are you describing here is you describe a button is it many here uh, or cards is it a miniature is it a dice so you, you indicate all the different things what shape everything is and then the overall dimensions in millimeters and i believe when you enter something in in millimeters it populates it in inches right beside it. that's pretty cool that's pretty cool okay cool thickness and then notes any notes or explanations of other selected in previous columns oh any other notes the dimension should be inner dimension that must be accurate that's very cool very important inner dimensions ah uh, that's very cool okay so this is what i'm going to do i'm going to take my and i have dimensions but these are outer dimensions so that's interesting i'm going to take this all the way down to here and copy that because these are my things here I'm gonna leave box bottom and top because I didn't actually put that as a thing. So I have a board, so I don't know what tray means. So I'm gonna leave that blank. I guess a group, this is not really grouped in anything, but it's the board. Um, there's only one board. And what is the type? Hopefully there's a board breakdown. Main board, and it is cardboard. Yeah, look at all, glass, wow. Cardboard. And the shape is a rectangle. I'll enter the, this as well, which we have as 22 by 24. Okay. Uh, so length 22, but I have inches, so I don't actually know millimeters and I can't enter anything in there. So I'll have to do the conversion afterwards. 
to get to, to I don't want to just write 22 there, although I guess probably could. I can copy and paste elsewhere later. 22 by 24. Height, I don't have a height for it. Thickness, oh interesting. Uh, I haven't received that from a manufacturer yet, so maybe I'll just put in a, hmm, what's an average board? Four millimeters? I'm not even sure. Four millimeters? I'll, uh, before I send it, I'll do some checking on these things. Cards, so we have, hmm. But I, this is for the menu. This page here was what I sent to the manufacturer for quotes, and they wanted all the cards uh, kept on one line. So that's why there's like 37 cards. And we have secret envelopes in this game. There's 45 cards in envelopes, so there's 82 cards because they're just going to print them all off in one go. So I think for this, I'm going to have to separate the cards because some are going to be parts of sets that need to be sorted in different ways. So let's just copy and paste this a bit lower. Oh, I, I'm currently having, there's a separate components of different versions of the game, deluxe expansion. Oh, okay. So that's where I have to put deluxe stuff. Okay, good to know, good to know. Cards, that's gonna be a lot of different cards. So I'm gonna have to go and investigate those individually. So let's just, for now, I will have to group some cards in a minute. Let's come back to cards, let's come back to cards. Mental note tokens. This is grouped with, let's call it the agents, because the agents get these. And how many are there? There's 15 of them. And description, let's see, what token maybe? Tile, chit, I guess. Let's see what my options are. It's not a sleeve, advert, advert, oh, I see. Coin, no, bag, score tracker, envelope, shield. Oh, like a screen. Player, card player, mat, tear off pad, interesting. Tray, box, cheat sheet, rule book, player board, main board, marker, tile. Maybe I'll just call it a tile. It's kind of between a tile and a chit. I'll call it a tile. We'll see. And it's cardboard, but yeah, it's gonna be cardboard. But I, I'll, I have to put some description in the other, and this we'll call this, a, it'll be the mental note tokens we were thinking of making them brain shaped so I guess I have to say other is there's the other I'll have to describe that later and these are going to be I believe one one inch by one inch oh again it's I, I know the inches but not the millimeters and we'll say everything's four millimeters I'm not sure so other so uh, these are Try erase uh, tokens in the shape of a brain. Uh, double sided. One side is green, other isn't. <clears throat> yes, white. That's probably more clear. All right. Now we have a screen, and so this is, I'm gonna say is part of the mind management components as far as a group. It all belongs to the mind management. There's only one of them. What is it? This is a, now this is probably a shield. That's what I'm imagining that is. This is again cardboard, and it is, oh yeah, this is not gonna be any of these because I don't think there's a, okay, it's gonna be another again because there's no, yep. Yeah. Other, and, I do, is it in here, the, the screen, yeah, it is 27 by eight. 27, length, I guess, by width, eight. Uh, sure, and then thickness, uh, yeah, I don't know, keep it four millimeters. Uh, this has two folds for each side fold in. Also, um, we'll have, I guess, plastic sleeves on the inside of the screen to slide cards into. Cool. Secret board. This is part of the mind management. 
and the total here is this one secret board and this is going to be a i guess we'll call it i think a player board was one a player board player mat player player board and it's cardboard and the shape yeah i guess it's a rectangle oh not 3d where'd you go rectangle oh, now you're down here and i have this somewhere player secret board nine by nine nine by nine four um could be upgraded to double sided will be dry will be dry raceable okay uh tokens uh this is gonna have to be broken on to more as well so let me insert five rows boom we have lots of different tokens mm -hmm. uh, we'll come back to tokens i guess and then standee holders am i doing i'm not doing oh for the retail version yeah we're doing, and then the, the deluxe will have different ones so this is for the agents well this is for both there's uh, we should separate them Whoops. So those standy holders for the agents. Standy holders for the my, for the immortals. And so for the agents, that'll be part of the agents thing. And for this one, it'll be part of the mine management thing. And how many agent is how many, right? Let's just do a little freeze action here. Three. Now I can scroll down and still see the headings. Uh, <clears throat> there are four agents and immortals there are four. Oh, and then we have one more. I, I guess I'll say this there is hourglass. one and so what is this this is <laughs> score tracker what would you say for a player a token a piece is that what a marker is that's a weird uh, miniature is weird it's not a miniature is that what marker means like a player marker like not a drawing marker it's a weird word to use. That's what that means. <clears throat> and these are plastic. I don't know if I'm doing this right or not. Let's see. <clears throat> Shape. Oh, they're just. How do you describe what its little standee holders are? They are 3D, but they're not. Uh, I guess that's other again. Probably be uh, one inch by one inch. Um, these are plastic standy holders, of cardboard um, token marker. <laughs> See, this is where you use the word marker. Token of a character slides into these. They can stand on the board and move around. <clears throat> oh, I see. We don't have a little wrapping on. There we go. That makes it nicer. I guess I'll place that for each of these. <clears throat> um, so that'll be some of these tokens. Like some of these tokens will be agents. And so for that, that's part of the agents. And there's four of them. And they are. Again, I guess this is going to be markers. I guess cardboard, and they're kind of rectangular, but they'll be a custom shape. Yeah, let's say custom then. Where's the other? And we did have for K. 
Char oh, the character tokens are separated. What was tokens then? Tokens. Oh, that's the entire punch board. I see what I did here. Yeah, because the uh, manufacturer wanted just the punch board, 9 inch by 12 inch, and there's two of them. To that'll have all the tokens on it. Okay, cool. But we have character tokens. 1.25 wide by this. Oh, I see. That's for, it says zero for the retail, but I'm doing wood for the deluxe. Gotcha. See, it makes sense. Um, but we can make it the same width and height for um, 1.25 by 1.6. by 1.25. Again, it's just cardboard. I think that's good. So that was character tokens. So we can get rid of that. And then we have mayhem tokens. Might as well move that. So maybe just move all of this up. is becoming not the right way to do this. Mayhem tokens and tokens and envelopes. We'll do that later because that's part of a separate thing. Mayhem tokens and that's part of, sure, that's part of the mind management. There's five of them. They're more like a, no, it's more like a tile, I guess, or chip tile, I guess. Weird. Cardboard. To go cardboard and these are rectangles and these we have the measurements of these mayhem tokens 2.5 by 0.5 so the length is 2.5 0.5 uh, these are not these are different now so mayhem tokens Five of them, tile, cardboard, rectangle, 2.5 by 5. Uh, do I have to add anything about that? No, they're just tokens. So we did mayhem tokens. Envelopes talk about opaque baggies. No, well, uh, yeah. Uh, I guess. It's weird that we have to enter this in because for the retail version, I don't want to have a uh, game trays, but the deluxe I do. So I guess maybe he just needs to know what are all the components. So anyways, so this is for, I'll call it the shift system. It's part of the shift. And there is 10 or 11 of them, I think. And then this type is it. It's a bag. It's a bag in there. Plastic, like plastic, like, yeah, I guess plastic, like plastic bag. Seems weird to say plastic, it makes it feel like it's th hard. Uh, they're rectangle bags. And I do have a size for these bags. Four inch by three inch. Only for retail version. Just to clear, just to call that out specifically. Um, let's do recruits next. That's pretty easy. Fruits are part of the mind management character, and there are 12 of them. And these miniatures, I guess. I don't know what, like, if you had a resource, what would that go under? It doesn't go, like, it's just a resource, for example. I guess maybe resource would be a chit or something. I'll say a miniature, even though it's not a miniature. I was going to say it's wood and it's other is a shape recruit uh do they have they probably don't have meeple shape do they i do not see meeple shaped okay um i don't even know the size of a meeple what is the size of a meeple do i know I didn't put the dimensions here. Just whatever a meeple <laughs> dimensions, meeple size. <laughs> Let's see if I can uh, Google that. Size of a meeple. 16 millimeters by 10. Look at that. Good old 16 millimeters by 10. Oh, let's see. I have to copy the formula back so I don't. 16 by 10. 
Sweet. And I think I'll put here meeples. All right, let's recruits. Complete that. The box was going to be at the top. Um, besides all that, so separate clones if different versions of the game deluxe expansion add on. Mm, they're not expansions, so I don't think. I think I still need to add a whole bunch here. So let's just kind of do. Insert a whole bunch more rows. We have cards. Tokes and envelopes is going to be a whole new thing. That's just going to come right out. But comics is also going to come out. Because that's part of that. And so we need a dry erase marker. And a rule book. So that's the last of the basic components. And the rest are going to be the shift system. Dry erase marker is... Mm, that's for that's for both players need it so that um, doesn't have a group I'll just leave it blank I would like two and type now see do I put marker here because it's a marker <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'll put other material it's kind of plasticky shape I guess it's, <laughs> it's kind of 3d uh, I don't know what the shape, the size of this is yet. Uh, dry erase markers. Si size not known yet. So now, on the rule book, right? And that's just for the game. And there's one of them. And type, I think, is is there a rule rule book? Nice. So is it just paper, cardstock, it's paper, I guess. And the shape is going to be rectangular. Everything's a rectangle in board games, isn't it? Easiest to print. Um, I think I have a dimensions for a rule book. Ten and one eighth inch by six and five eighth. Holy crow! I don't even know how to enter that into this. I'll do the math later and have to enter that later. All right. Now comes the challenging part of figuring out all the different types of cards we have. So maybe I just do this because they're all cards. So let's do card, card stock, rectangle, and their length is 3.5. Nope, 3.5, like 2.5. I don't know what's a millimeter of a one millimeter. I don't know one millimeter. That, seem, that even seems thick for I have no idea. I'll look into those later. Uh, but these are cards. So now I can copy this and not have to redo it many times. I'm smart. I'm smart. Okay, what's our first card? How are we going to do this? Because those are all the components that I need to find out. I don't. Yeah, I have, I have to go through it one by one. Recruitment cards, and there are 16 of them. All right. Recruitment cards. And this is going to be with line management. And there are 16. And that's all you know, need to know about that. There are agent cards. And those are with the agents. And there are four of them. And, and I will say, I don't know if it matters, but they're double sided. And then I have one ally card. Goes with the agents. There's one. More to come, though, in the envelope shift stuff. Uh, my management cards, we're not calling those recruiter cards. Recruiter cards. That's what my man. Management. And there are four of those. Sorry, is marker, is that all the is that all the cards? Oh yeah, the, uh, the action cards in the Okay, so the uh, agent action cards. Agents. How many are there? Are there five or six? Four? Oh, five. Five and then four for the Mind management action cards. Okay, and I 
add that. We'll forget about tokens in a minute. Uh, there's two set, uh, three, that's yeah, not under two setup cards. Setup set reminder cards. And that's just part of the game. So that's nobody's. And there's two of those. That's all the cards, actually. I thought there was going to be more. Okay, what other tokens? Tokens, agents, I see. Okay. So we're going to have some more tokens. Let's see what we got. I kind of called them all out here. Uh, we, did, we did agent tokens already. Didn't we? Tokens, agents. We didn't do tokens, immortals, or hourglass. Okay, so we have to do that. So let's do that. Uh, we can actually just copy this. Nice. Tokens, immortals, token, this is one, hourglass. This is with my management, and that is with my management. There's one of those, and there's four of those. And it's marker, cardboard, and those are all the same. So that's kind of copy and paste is your friend. And an hour. good. And we did mayhem. Step tokens, we're going to increase to eight. So let's put that under, he under here. Insert row. Step tokens. These are going to be with my management. And there are eight of them. And these are, we're calling these markers, I guess. And they're cardboard. And they're square. And they're what, one inch by one inch, I believe? Oh, I don't say here. Yeah, I think they're one inch by one inch. Okay. And that's step tokens and oh our mind power tokens the last one so I'm gonna put that in here delete row insert row <laughs> uh, mind power tokens it's also for the mind management player there's two of them it's a marker it's cardboard these are square also one inch by one inch that might be it for that now the tricky part of this game is all of these envelopes and tons of different uh, things that are going to go in there. And I don't want to necessarily put that in the video because these are all top secret. So this is pretty much what I'm going to send in. So I have to uh, get the box bottom and top and get the inside dimensions. So that I have to figure out. And I have to figure out the thicknesses from a manufacturer before I send this off. Um, and then I'm probably going to give them some more notes with regards to how, because the key thing, the reason why I want game trades is for the shift system. And the shift system uh, are these 10 envelopes uh, that are sealed and contain hidden information. And as you play the game, whichever side wins, the other side gets to open one of these envelopes. I go like this, envelopes, because with game trades, it won't be an envelope. It'll be some sort of form thing. Um, so that'll be kind of neat enough curious to see um, what we're going to do with that because in addition to them being openable you get more contents then comes the issue of storage after you've opened it now where do they go um, so is it going to have to be an area uh, in the, the, the base of the game trays where it's holding just your regular stuff that you can now put this new stuff so it's got to accommodate all of the things that are in the 10 secret envelopes they have to be able to be placed maybe into the game trays that's one idea or they just get put back into their own envelope again, their own their own little pocket. Because um, the concept of the shift system is that you can play with any of the systems you want afterwards. So uh, if, if you want to play with only these three envelopes, I keep calling them envelopes, but whatever, um, you can. Uh, or you can play with all of them, whatever you want. So that's kind of the interesting aspect of the shift system is it's not... You don't destroy anything and, and you can play through in the campaign mode and things kind of progress in a natural way. However, you can then afterwards play mix and match style. So that's interesting. So they both have their advantages, whether you put them all in, um, their, put them back into their own little envelopes so that you can easily mix and match and choose whichever one you want. But if you're kind of playing the campaign mode, it almost makes more sense to add all the components uh, to the base game so that when you go to play, you just take out all the components that are in the base game. You don't have to be fiddling with all these 
other envelopes. I'm not sure what to do there. What are your thoughts? If you have any ideas, uh, let me know in the in the comments below if there's some uh, some way you recommend doing a legacy style type game with with game trays. Uh, how to store components once they've come out. Some are just cards. That's easy. Some are uh, wooden bits and other components. And, and then there's the rules question. Uh, do we do it the legacy style where there's stickers and then goes into the rule book? Or do we keep a, a little rule card or rule thing in each of the envelopes so that that stays with that envelope? Lots of questions, lots of things to figure out. So I'm, I'm still a ways away from even sending this out. But uh, I think that gives you a little heads up of of uh, how to fill out a game trays uh, form. I had a bunch of questions myself still on some of these things. Um, but yeah, maybe if you know some more tips uh, before I send it off, uh, let me know in the comments about uh, anything I missed in my game trays. Uh, that's it for me for this week. Thanks for tuning in. See you next week.